the vlogs just dropped off all of a sudden and it was a combination of me falling sick and jet lag and sleep deprivation all at the same time I just couldn't do it so here's what you missed in the meantime I had a bad sunburn from that last day on the boat in Uganda I caught my flights home and they were uneventful Except for the fact that I watched Dan Brown's Inferno. They have Inferno on this flight, which is super exciting to me because I've been wanting to see that movie for a while. And was super disappointed that Ron Howard screwed up the ending from the book, like just destroyed the ending. I got home and reunited with my family to find out that Gabriel lost his two front teeth and has now discovered he can whistle as a result. <laughs> Yay. We were supposed to turn around the day after I got back from Uganda and go to New York for our anniversary, but that didn't happen because of the weather in New York. Hotel and yes, we got the people to go ahead and cancel the other charging energy for that. So uh, the position is being canceled right now. Since we couldn't take our trip for our anniversary, we got babysitters and explored the places that we were on the day we got married. We're going to go out tonight for our anniversary and replan our trip to New York, hopefully. But yes. we're gonna drive by and see some of the places that we were on the, the day we were married. This is where we got married. And then that over there is where we had our reception. This was our old apartment when we were first married. Then came home and rescheduled our flights for later in the month. In the meantime, I've been battling some sort of sickness that has my head aching and my throat swollen. And I would think that maybe it was something I picked up in Africa, except everybody here seems to have it also. This is my first official day back in the office, and I have a feeling it's gonna be a little crazy. I don't know if you can see this license plate in front of me, but it has a pink ribbon. The license plate is pink, and it says healed. One. I'm guessing this person was healed of breast cancer? That's cool. Wait, what? Come on. May today's dream be today's miracle. So that's the quote for today. I had two discussions today which really stood out to me. Both of them with friends in entirely different situations in life. The first discussion was with Stephanie, my homeless friend, and it was regarding her attempts to get off the street, her attempts to go through rehab and to clean up and how difficult that is after 10 years of being on the street. The other was with a friend of mine who is trying to pay off her student loans and she has some sizable student loans and her and her husband have been taking steps to get out from under them and I was super proud of her as she was telling me the efforts that they've gone to. They've recently uh, sold their house and downsized and they're making some significant decisions to attempt and get out from under the, the debt that they accumulated with student loans. I was thinking about how we define our successes and oftentimes our successes look big from the outside. And the successes of others also look big from the outside. So we look on and say, here's this big decision someone made this one time which changed their life forever. And it's very rare that that is actually the case. More frequently the case is it's the multitude of micro decisions that we make every day of our life. It's those tiny decisions. The little choice that you're going to make right now those things are what stack up and become our identity and who we are. It's the big decisions that we already know we should pay attention to, but sometimes it's the little decisions. It's every dollar that you can save when you're trying to pay off a student loan, and every one of those dollars matter. It's every little choice that you make on the street when you're trying to get off and come clean. It's every conversation that you choose to have. And one day you wake up there and say, how did I get from where I was to where I am today, and the answer is generally the thousand tiny decisions.
I'm not in a parking lot. I'm on a street. So if you wonder why I'm not moving, I'm not moving because it's 4.30 in downtown Dallas and I've been sitting in the same spot for the last 10 minutes. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so I left a little early from work so I can pick up something unique for Bethany for tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be here for Bethany. I don't know if that quite fits our relationship. Man, this is gonna be hard to choose. Hey, I used to have one of those. I ended up choosing this nifty storage antique box and I got her a pair of animal socks because she loves socks. Back home and I need to do a little more work before my night is over. I'm so out of it right now. I feel like I'm on medication but I'm not. I just, I think I'm about to like fall over and pass out from exhaustion which shouldn't happen when you slept for like 10 hours the night before, but this sickness, man. I heard someone say that there's mountain cedar or something in the air right now that's destroying everyone's allergies, and I don't know what it is, but it's got me. <laughs>